Every year, the Apollo curse gets a mention going into the Kentucky Derby, but in no year in recent memory has there been as great of a chance as there is this year to see that curse shattered. With Todd Pledger's Arkansas Derby winner, Magnum Moon, and Bob Baffert's Santa Anita Derby winner, Justify. This year, everyone is asking about it, but Todd Pledger is taking it in stride. Oh, uh, I would say it's probably approaching 50. Uh, it's only Monday. How do you feel about the Apollo curse? <laughs> Have you 51. ever heard of the Apollo curse? I, I've heard about it before. I mean, we've been in this situation a number of times, so I've heard about it probably as much as anyone. But, uh, I mean, I do feel strongly that it will be broken here. It, very well could happen this year, but it, it will happen. Apollo Curse refers to a 136-year-old record held by Apollo, a gelding owned by Jay Patton and trainer Green Morris, that won the eighth edition of the Kentucky Derby without having raced at the age so of two. If we look back in 1882 and we talk about Apollo, the last unraced two-year-old to win the Kentucky Derby, you know, it's much different at that time. You know, remember the Lewis Clark Jr., who's the founder of our track, is still trying to make the Louisville Jockey Club, which is the name it was known by at the time, uh, a player racing, uh, make it a national uh, event. Uh, it was already a local event, maybe regional. He's trying to broaden that appeal. Seen as much different. We're not using pari mutual wagering at that time. We're using auction pools. Uh, we have bookmakers at that time, which in the history of racing is kind of controversial. Since 1937, we've had 61 starters in the Derby, unraced as two-year-olds. Eight of those horses actually placed, finished second or third. Uh, not a bad percentage considering that amount of starters. And we've had some pretty well-known unraced two-year-olds who have not been successful in the Derby, but have come close. A lot of people know about Curlin, who was third in the Derby in 2007, uh, went on to win the Breeders' Cup Classic. The Apollo thing, I mean, it comes up a lot, but uh, I think it's back in the day, you know, people used to run their horses much earlier, and I think it's changed, you know, trainers, they take their time, you know, they don't run them as early two-year-olds anymore, and there's really not that many races to run them at, so uh, early. I remember we used to run two-year-old races here really early, and there's, and they don't run until later now, there's just not that many two-year-old races early, so it's... I think the game has changed, and that's why you don't probably don't see it as often. But I mean, I, it's going to happen. Whether it happens this year or whatever, but it'll happen. Cause, you know, Bodie Meister, you know, you know, almost got away with it, but um, you know, the, the pace got to him. Obviously, there must be some to it. How, how long has it been? 136 years. 136 years, <laughs> and I think you know, when you have a lightly raced horse like that, that. Actually, it's, you know, hasn't even shipped out of California. And then throwing them in a 20-horse field. Uh, I mean, this, this horse is a super talented horse. Uh, if any, any of them can do it, this one can. But uh, I think it's, a, it's a legitimate wide. It's been going on for 146 years or whatever it is. Are you tired of hearing about it at this point? Uh, no. Give you something to talk about. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to take the right horse, and like I said, it'll be interesting to see what happens this year.